January the 20th, 1968. The largest regular season crowd in NCAA history to see a college basketball game. Nearly 53,000 exuberant fans showed up at the Houston Astrodome for the game tab as the game of the century. Unbeaten and top ranked UCLA against number two and unbeaten Houston. Now 14 years later, the Cougars that took part in that game look back with very fond memories. Team manager for Houston in 1968 was Howie Lorch. And he remembers that game of the century very well. Well, I'll tell you that January 20th, 1968, uh, probably was the most uh, greatest sports spectacle, in my opinion, that I've ever witnessed. And uh, from what people I've talked to, probably the greatest thing that's ever happened in this country uh, on the basketball scene. I know it was the um, matchup of the two Goliaths, the Big E against the Big A, or at that time, yeah, the Big A, now and later to become Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. From the very moment they opened the doors underneath the goalposts, and we uh, were where the goalposts are, and we went out on the uh, on the field, and we went down that runway toward the court. I mean, uh, the the whole place. I've I've never uh, seen or felt anything like it. And we've played in the Madison Square Gardens, and, and we've played in we played in South America with big crowds, and we we played all over the country and in the national championships. And there was nothing that could compare to this. There were 53,000 people there, and they were just fired up. They they were as fired up as the teams were. To Ken Spain was a junior on that ball club and was quite a thrill for Ken playing in this game as he vividly recalls. And the setting, like I said, the setting was just tremendous. They're number one and we're number two and we go in there and play just a fantastic ball game and it was just you know, going back and forth there and Elvin was just phenomenal that night. And like I said, just the, the crowd, everything was just tremendous and the way it was just set up. Uh, I, I don't see how anybody could ever top that. I don't see how everybody can even come close to, uh, you know, bringing the two best teams in, the two best ball players in in the country in, and and mixing them together. It was tremendous. It was just something like I said. It, yeah, I think about it now and uh, just you know get awestruck. Or... Starting for Houston along with Ken Spain, Don Chaney, George Reynolds, Theotis Lee, and Elvin Hayes. For the top-ranked Bruins, Lynn Shackelford, Edgar Lacy, Lucius Allen, Mike Warren and Lou Alcindor. Don Chaney was a starting guard on the Houston team. Chaney went on to have an illustrious career with the Boston Celtics, presently an assistant coach with the Detroit Pistons. This past year, Chaney was inducted into the Cougar Hall of Fame, and Chaney looks back at the game of the century. Well, the, the uh, <laughs> UCLA game in the Astrodome, uh, that was one of the, matter of fact, not only my college career, it stands out you know, throughout my career as one of the, the most, the, the highest point of my, in my basketball career. Uh, it's something that you never forget. It's something that you can't explain. It's something that you feel inside and, and something that you probably cherish the rest of your life. The starting units for both squads would play almost the entire game. But for Vern Lewis, son of head coach Guy Lewis, one moment stands out. Yes, there was. It was when George Reynolds got his fourth foul, and I suddenly realized I was having to go in the game. Uh, my heart began to race. Uh, both teams did have depth, but as it went along, uh, it seemed like both went with their starting five. And, and uh, of course, George Reynolds did come back in the second half, taking me out and, and continued to play very well the rest of the game. Uh, it was very close all the way to the very end. And um, it, it was just like I say, it was a game that uh, was a highlight of my career. The game was the meeting of two giants, Lou Alcindor of UCLA and Elvin Hayes of Houston. On this occasion, Hayes would not be denied, scoring 39 points and grabbing 15 rebounds, while Alcindor was held to 15 points and 12 rebounds. Well, it's probably one of the uh, greatest college basketball games, uh, I think, in the history of college sports. And uh, 
uh, for me, it was a highlight of my career because I think that out of all the places I've traveled in the world, most of my recognition is still done by that one single game. Uh, it affected people more than any single game that I think that I will ever play and ever have played in. Uh, it, it's people can identify with it. They can identify the moment, the time, and the place, whatever they was done at that time. And uh, it, it was probably one of the, you know, just highlights of, uh, of a lot of people's lives, in, you know, especially my career, as I said. I think it did more for, the, especially in the Southwest, I think it did more for college basketball in the Southwest than, uh, than any single game uh, uh, any, any year in basketball. I think that game really established the dominance and the power of Southwest basketball. And I think Houston led the way it, it throughout the nation saying, hey, we have great basketball down here. We have real fine talent. We have great players. And uh, we proved ourselves that night. And uh, not only to the local fans who knew we was a very good basketball team, but to the nation and to the world.